Hi everyone, so I guess we already saw it coming from my last video that I made yesterday about the Diablo 4 beta registration, but they just dropped a warm shell of new gameplay footage, new information, and I'm gonna start off this video with my impressions, I cut it together a little bit from the gameplay trailer. If you want to fast forward to me talking more, then you see the timestamps below. You will be a priest of Rathma. A necromancer. And you will not confront the darkness alone. We are the speakers of the dead. And the dead have no mercy. That was a badass shot of the wolf. Okay, I guess we know the last class now. It's a summoner. Surprise! I'm very excited to announce our fifth and final class. The Necromancer a commander of the undead who joins the other iconic classes around the campfire in Diablo 4. So let's dig a little deeper by watching, for the first time I might add, some Xbox Series X gameplay. While hearing from a few of the many people behind the game. Locus uh, D1, by the way. But I guess the made, made, made it here is probably very visual. Xbox Diablo Series X. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them. Is that confirmed? With all the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Love the music. Everything feels very powerful and fun. In the rogue trader. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. Or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and what you really fuck? have to work together. <laughs> Being able to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster. They actually zooms you out, that's pretty cool. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. Uh oh. <laughs> you basically become a loot pinata and everyone wants to chase you down. That's fine. People are gonna stream side me anyway, so I can just as well be marked in game. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons or new paragon boards. Every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so close.
Yeah, it looks badass. What do you guys say? <laughs> so yeah, what do you say, guys? I think it looks incredible. The graphics are insane. And I'm really happy to have finally some news to finally see things moving forward. And yeah, with the beta probably coming up in, I expect, the next months, they didn't actually tell us the date yet. But we might hear about it very soon because the quarterly update for the Apple 4 is also just around the corner. So I'm go probably going to cover that and uh, there might be a date included there. But personally, I'm very pumped and we had a lot of people on stream, you know, being super excited about it. In case you have any doubts, there is also confirmation from Mr. Adam Fletcher himself that this is a PC game with a box price, no pay to win. So there were obviously some concerns from you know, people that saw the Diablo Immortal, which is a mobile game designed for a mobile audience, which simply works completely differently than something like this. And there will not be any kind of like, you know, important microtransactions in there. So just to get that out of the way. And here's also the time release schedule for yeah, the, from this Xbox event. And there is the other four here in uh, 2023 coming to Xbox and PC, PC over the next 12 months. So this means we're looking at a probably summer release in 2023. So in the next 12 months, it's actually insane in my opinion. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play the game myself yet, but yeah, we are getting close and it's going to be very cool. If you want to take a closer look for yourself, I have all the links in the description for the trailer, for these posts here and that kind of stuff. So we can also take a closer look and you know, go at your own pace. But for me, this is the moment that we have been finally waiting for. I guess it's going to feel rather different from the traditional Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 games especially, but also probably with very many familiar aspects. I guess they will probably try to really capture like the smoothness and the flow of combat from the other three and then combine it with some of these like open world elements and also the PvP. I guess if this is done well, which I have actually pretty uh, high um, expectations for, then I think this is going to be an incredible game. And even playing a much more simple game like Diablo Immortal lately, I have actually gotten a real liking for PvP. And I imagine that in Diablo 4, this is like way more fleshed out, way more dynamic, you know, way more build possibilities and uh, these kind of things. So I think this is going to be super fun and definitely something that I'm looking forward to. So I never expected for me to, to enjoy it that much, but it's actually generally fun in Immortal. And I can only think it's going to be much better, especially when there's no pay to win in Diablo 4. In any case, this is what I have to share here for now for Diablo 4. I'm super pumped. I can't wait to jump in and you know try out everything and yeah make content for it for years to come. So I think it's going to be an amazing ride and I'm glad to have you guys with me. So I hope that you're looking forward to it as I am because Diablo 4 is coming. See you guys next time.